Okay, that's enough. Whatever could you be talking about? You've been snapping your fingers in my ears for over an hour! Oh goodness, I'm so sorry. Did I hurt the poor little hero's feelings? See if you like your bright your wings. <laughs> you might want to watch that arm. If your parents see you like that, they'll be worried. Oh wait, hold on! Shiro Emiya doesn't have to worry about parents. Does he? <gasps> How did you- How many have you been through now? Three total? You never did get a mother in that second set. I've had just about enough of you! You think you know me? How about this? I didn't just lose my parents. I had to deal with being the sole survivor of a thousand people! You have any idea what that's like? Keep going. No, really. Tell the heroic spirit ripped from his duties to serve as a tool for a teenager in a war he doesn't have any stake in how tragic your life is. Speak up, though. It's hard to hear over the sound of the earth trying to erase my existence on a constant basis. Oh, is that why you guys need mana? Yeah, that's how that works. Didn't know that. Just like I still don't know why Rin made you walk me home! By some fluke of nature, she's taken a liking to you. Just what is your problem with me? Oh, jeez, where do I begin? No, I am directly asking you. What is your problem with me? No vague, snide remarks. It's probably your face. Ah! You are just... Ah! I'm what? Go on, try to cut me down, Shiro. I know more about you than you could imagine. Which is confusing! But you know nothing about me. Not even my name. There's not a thing you could say that could hurt me. Yeah? How about this? I think you're a good person. Uh, care to run that by me again? I think you're a good person who tried to do something really good and it didn't work out. You're a hero after all. And you know what? That's probably why you hate me. You take one look at me, and my dream to become a hero reminds you of what you aren't. I'm feeling a very complicated version of hatred right now. You're like a petty dad who's jealous of their successful son. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna become a hero for you and dad. So you can stop hating me, you and I can be friends. Mm, no. I hate you! Ha! <laughs> See, there's the truth. You hate me for resenting your stupid dream. And I can't stand you because you're a confused, crazy little man. I am not! No? Who do you want to save? Everyone in front of me. No exceptions. What if Ryder was sitting in the middle of the street about to get hit by a bus? She's a servant. I'd be way more worried about the bus. And the street. Don't get smart with me. I would save her. Even though she's trying to kill you? Maybe saving her would bring her around. And therein lies my problem. Your dream is stupid, you're stupid, and you should feel stupid. Have fun losing the war. I'll tell Ren you started bawling about your arm the moment you left the house. It's like you were handcrafted by the devil himself just to torment me. Master. Hi, Saber. How was your day? Great. The part where you didn't come home was especially thrilling. And when Archer showed up to disarm traps and said you were attacked by not only Rin, but even another servant? Oh, that was a whole different sort of thrill. I've never been grounded due to early parent death. I wondered what it felt like. You're not going to school anymore. Saber, yes I am. Fine. You're still going to school, but I'm going with you everywhere. Saber, no you're not. Fine, not everywhere, but I'm going to school with you. Saber! Damn thee, master! One day I will think of a retort to the word no. I can't just sit here all day, every day, waiting for you to come home dead. I wouldn't come home dead, I'd be dead. Don't be smart with me, Shiro. You're clearly a talented swordswoman. <clears throat> and swordsman, why don't you train me? Shiro Emiya. I would love that! Sweet! Mold me, for I am but clay in your hands. My knowledge of modern English is vague and crisdy zazy, Shiro. But I believe I'm about to teach you the meaning of being a tiger mom. It's nice being with you and not worrying about premature death, Rin. Yeah, I'm super fun. 
we're here to look for sigils. Sigils? That night you got killed, I was at the school. Because a servant set up a barrier that could turn all the students into fruit punch. And you're in if I can't have them, nobody can have them mode, right? If I can't be a monster, nobody gets to be. But see, this barrier uses a bunch of anchoring points, sigils. We shut them down, and we shut down the barrier faster than Viacon shuts down illegal uploads. Trace on. Found one, under a bunch of copies of War and Peace, where nobody would ever look. Holy cow! With my guidance, you're super useful! Us in a library doing magic kind of makes me feel like you're the Ron Weasley to my Hermione. Ron and Hermione? How much of Harry Potter have you read? First four books. Why? Does one kill the other later? Don't worry about it. So, hey. Pretty sure Shinji's the master of Ryder. You figure that out when he yelled at us in the woods yesterday? Yeah. You're not surprised? There's like three mage families in the city, and their family helped make the murder death kill system to begin with. It was either Shinji or Sakura. But Sakura's not a mage, right? No, of course not. She's nothing. Well, that's mean. Hello, Emia. What a terrible wound you have there on your arm. Not that I can see it, of course, but we're such good friends that we practically share pain. You've got to be kidding me. Why the sullen look, my dearest, sweet, best friend? You did this, Shinji. You put this hole here, Shinji. Your super cool pink-haired servant did this, Shinji. You were always such a joker, Shiro. I'd like a day to go by when one of my friends wasn't suddenly my arch nemesis, but you're making it really hard here, Shinji. I want to trust you on this! Can't you trust your best friend when he tells you he would never, ever try to kill you? Especially after you became such good friends with Rin Tosaka, which I'm not jealous of. Are you serious? Maybe a person does crazy things when they think a woman's trying to steal their best ever friend. Maybe those people would act less crazy. Not that they have any influence over anything important. If their best friend convinced a dangerous woman in their life not to murder them? All right, if someone stopped acting crazy, then I'd make sure that Rin didn't murder them. And also maybe tell them that person thinks they have beautiful eyes. Sure. Good. Great. Wonderful. Right. Fantastic. Good. Sweet. Awesome! How dare you speak to me that way! Hey, you Saber. Welcome to my shed. It's where everything magical in the Emiya family happens. I know. Can I come in? Sure. Just don't sit on the magic circle over there. Dad always said it was special. I know. Okay. Are you practicing your magic? Time magic, right? No. Nope. Familiar magic. Sounds complicated. Gun? Gun? Gun... magic? Reinforcement. I make things stronger. That's off the hizzy. That's way better. Reinforcement magic lets me trace an object, figure out what its strengths are, and identify how to amplify those qualities. Then I just skillfully apply my magic and... <laughs> Goddamn rock! Rocks are hard. I do pipes really well. I'm trying to learn other things. Why pipes? There are an abundance of pipes in the world that require my saving them. They gladly offer themselves as tribute to my craft. I like your passion. Want to see me try a stick? I'm gonna try a stick. Sticks are like pipes. <laughs> ah! Fuck you, stick! You never believed in my dream! I will surpass you, stick! I will crush you under my heel! Oh. Sorry. I get really frustrated, and when I'm frustrated, I can either blame me or the object. I find it's healthier to blame the object. I'm going to head inside, Master. Please continue your training. Tiger Mom demands it. You don't want to see one more? Next up is the light bulb. Then I am definitely out of here. Dear sweet boy, welcome to the spider's web. <laughs> but what? Am I at a temple? All right, cue a servant. Getting used to the Grail War grind, sweet boy. <laughs> Master, uh, just checking you didn't cut yourself on any loose glass, and you're gone. Of course you're gone. I literally let you sleep 50 feet from the house, and a servant gets you. We're down to assassin and caster. Taking a look at you, I'm guessing I don't need to worry about assassins right now. Or maybe that's what you want me to think! You don't have to worry about anything. In fact, sweet boy, this is where your troubles in the war come to an end. Why do you want me? I don't want you. Then 
You must want... Ah, uh, you want Saber, don't you? First I take the seals from your hand and then use one of them to force her to address herself as lover. Come on! Is there anyone in this war who is not in love with my servant? Love is an abundant element, isn't it? So much so that I've stolen enough of it from the men in this city to imbue the very soil under your feet with its essence. Is that what smells like Mountain Dew? Yes, that is what male essence smells like. If you're responsible for killing this city's citizens, then I will call up the strength to destroy you! Oh, really? I've been watching you, Shiro Emiya. I'm quite confident you lack the power to free yourself. I am going to destroy you, lady! Oh, I love it when children talk tough. Keep playing pretend, sweetie. Prepare to feel the unbridled wrath of the hero known as Shiro fucking Emiya! What? I certainly picked the worst words to come in on. Archer, why are you here? No, Ashley, why are you here? It's not to save you, that's for sure. I just couldn't stand the thought of this desolate hag taking ownership of Saber. If anybody but Rin ever took her, I'd never hear the end of it. And if Rin did get her, I'm pretty sure I'd never hear the end of it either. But you know, lesser of two evils. How did you get past the gate? I have a servant protecting this place! Simple. I told him that a more competent swordsman was on his way. Damn that man and his battle fetish! Hold on, Master. I'm on my way. Welcome at last. Ugh. I have been waiting for you. Identify, Identify yourself, yourself, servant! servant. What class are you? Me. I think this blade upon my back should make it obvious that I am the Saber Servant. Okay, except you're not. I am more than willing to back up my claims, but first identify yourself. Friend, I'm sorry about this. I'm Saber. <sighs> okay, I'm Assassin, but look, can you not go around telling people that you're Saber? I'm not... I don't feel like an assassin. And look, how many people have you told your saber? Lancer, Archer, and Berserker. So Archer lied to me. Right, so then we don't tell Ryder. Is this important to you? It is. You seem like a nice guy. I'll be vague if I meet Ryder. Thank you. You are blessed with manners to match your beauty. But back to the matter at hand. One way or another, you will have to best my blade to advance. So be it! <laughs> <laughs> Ho oh, ho! Oh. What skill! To grab a hold of my sword with such dexterity. And you knocked me loose so readily, as if you'd seen it a million times. Well done to you, sir! I am having a very fun time, Saber. As am I, other Saber. Flattery will get you everywhere, Saber. Except, of course, through those temple gates. So what's, what's your, your plan, plan here, Archer? Archer? You're within my territory. Penetrate your body with a hail of projectiles until you die screaming. Tends to work. Mere arrows? Projectiles, yes. I'm pretty sure he'll do it. Sweet boy, what makes you so confident in this man? When we fought Berserker, Archer ran away like, no offense Archer, a bitch. But he's standing here telling you off. That tells me you're toast. <laughs> you shouldn't put so much faith in his perception. Hey listen, this guy knows things. I don't know how he knows things, but he knows things. For example, I know what that pain in your chest is. A seething hatred for your repulsive race? Close. It was pain. That makes two wars that you've accomplished nothing in. <laughs> My sweet, sweet boys. Huh? You're alive? How are you- ah! <laughs> Oh, so this is what a caster servant can do. All of the magical energy I've gathered from the city is in the soil here. I killed you. The barrier here prevents heroes from entering or leaving, except through the front gate. But I killed you. And now you'll feel power equal in value to true magic. But I killed... Oh, true magic. You flickered time. So what? I can do magic too. You can do magecraft. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, more like tomato to nuclear warhead. You can't run forever, Archer. You can bet I'm gonna try. Forever is a long time, Archer. I may have miscalculated my odds here. <laughs> trying to run? Not anymore. You are trying to run? 
<laughs> Take the shot, Caster! Let's talk about this! Sweet boy. What a waste of perfectly good command seals. Not a bad set of hands, either. That was so huh? awesome! How are you so fast? Huh? What the fuck is wrong with me? Why did I do that? Because you're secretly a super good guy, and you couldn't just watch your protege die. You're not my protege! I didn't mean to save you. You're like the Batman to my Robin, dude! Oh, I am so high on life right now! They're weird. They're weird about each other. Please die! We've gotta fight back or we're dead! There is no way! I know you care now! You can't erase this! What's that? Time dilation. Time dilation. The difference between magic and your magecraft. I want that. You're nimble, Archer. But how fast can you move when the space around you is frozen in place? This is almost disappointing, sweetie. You promised you'd slay me in a hail of arrows. You promised I'd scream. Like every man who's aimed to penetrate my body. You turned out to be a disappointment. Projectiles. Come again? I said it. I killed you with projectiles. Ah. Uh. Yeah! That's better. Damn! You wanna talk about penetration, Caster? Do it. Let's just see who the disappointment is. Prepare to feel the unbridled wrath. Zero fucking Emmya! There's the screaming. I believe that's all of my promises. It would seem that Castor just died. Does that bother you? Honestly, no. Caustic women aside, I think I have a guess at your identity. If I make one guess, just one. Will you be honest with me? That's a dangerous promise. You are Jean d'Arc. Do I look remotely French to you? If not for the Grail, I'd have no idea what French even means. My turn to guess. Someone of your sword, skill, and heritage is obvious! Now hold on. Japan's legendary Miyamoto Musashi. There it is. No, I am not Miyamoto Musashi. Or as he rightfully ought to be called, Master of the Sharpened Ore. Hero of the Blinding Sun. Or progenitor of being a hack! You're Sasuke Kojiro. Yes, I am Sasuke Kojiro. The man that Miyamoto Musashi dishonorably bludgeoned with a stick after arriving hours late to our duel because he wasn't enough of a man to face me. And by that, I mean that's who I would be if I existed, but I don't. You're a wraith too? Yep. I was just thinking, a man this enjoyable to fight couldn't exist. And I was right. And I am sad. Well, if Castor is dead, then I'll soon vanish. Are you saying Castor is your master assassin? She's a rule breaker, that woman. My point is that if we want to get the most out of our fight, we should end it promptly. So for you, my beautiful sparrow, my ultimate technique. Let's go! Ah, King Arthur. Tsubame Gaishi. Shut up. Come on, Caster. You're supposed to be a hero. Finish her, quick. She might flick her time again. No, the weapon I used twisted everything around her out of shape, including her spells. She's gotta die. Finish her off, man. Let's get this clear. It'd make you super upset if Caster somehow lived. Of course it would. End me! Shut up, Caster! <laughs> Heal yourself, woman! <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? I'll be real, she could have healed herself at any time. Isn't that right, old hag? That's right. We're sitting on a mana tank, after all. She's practically invincible here. And unlike you, Shiro, I don't ignore the obvious when it's right in front of me. Bite me, Archer! <laughs> you two are practically made for each other. You both act like you have your eyes open, but when it comes down to it, neither of you can ignore people in pain in front of you. I bet you let me heal because killing a poor defenseless woman was too much for you, Archer. Hey! He and I are nothing alike! Right, so, since he said that, I'm going to guess that I should say we're exactly alike. There's no right answer for me here, is there? You should join me. 
With the combined efforts of Saber, Archer, Assassin, and myself, we could defeat Berserker effortlessly. Thanks for telling me you know jack all about Berserker. Also, you're evil! You are very evil. Compromise, though. Am I to make a deal with the devil? I put up with that from Rin. I'm not taking it from you, Medea. How did you- You run along and kill Berserker. Kill any more townspeople, however. And I'm coming straight for your boy toy at the school. That's my compromise. You're bluffing. I made good on my last promise, didn't I? The kid's right, you do know things. I must say, I have an overwhelming urge to suffocate you in your sleep. I'll take that as a compliment. I meant it as one. Hold on, you witch! I'm not done with you yet! You could learn a thing or two from him, sweet boy. <laughs> All right, Batman. Care to explain why you let Zatanna back there go? Batman doesn't kill. Zatanna's not a criminal. And isn't her not hurting townsfolk enough for you? No, Archer. It is not good enough for a monster like her. Got a Hitler question for you, Shiro. Huh? Let's say that right before his death, knowing everything that Adolf Hitler had done, he got a chance to talk to himself in his formative years. He's young. He's naive. Would Hitler try to set himself down a different path, or kill him to save himself the grief? What does this have to do with Castor? If Hitler knows his dreams will destroy him, should Hitler kill Hitler? Or is it important that little Hitler see through his ambitions? Consequences be damned. No offense, Archer, but I don't have time for this! Uh, damn, you've got strong hands! Answer the question, Shiro. Should Hitler be killed? Or if I told you killing Hitler would result in a man like him stepping up to take his place, do you think Batman should still kill Hitler? Why is Batman suddenly involved? Whatever. Do as you wish. Maybe you're right, Shiro. Maybe you are my Robin. You do remind me a lot of Jason Todd. <gasps> ah! 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 Well, now that was just unlikely. Instincts, luck, metaphysical d20, what was that? You see, Pendragon, in my supposed life, I was plagued by a troublesome bird. It would come to me when I ate and steal my rice. You know us Japanese men, so fond of our thousands of grains. It became only worse when the raw rice within the birds expanded, and they began exploding. Not where I thought this was going. Quite. With bird viscera littering my compound, I deemed it necessary to kill that mockingbird. Again, being a Japanese man, tradition dictated that I duel them to the death. But they are fast little devils. I needed to kill them in such a way that I minimized the amount of bird chunks on my property. Through countless tries, I developed a technique. The Tsubame Gaishi. To strike three times within a single breath, cutting off the enemy's escape and minimizing bird carnage. So, instead of hiring a cleaning lady, you developed a technique that reached beyond true magic. That's absurd. Hey, I'm just the Wraith here. I didn't write this. You know, the irony here is that if my life were right now in danger, you'd still want to save me, because you're stupid. I... I hate you. Guess we are alike. That's just what I was thinking. That core dream? Huh? Sh Shiro! Shiro, I found you! Hey, Saver. I've got you. You know I could have killed you right there. You know that, right, True Saber? I know. Good. Just wanted to hear you say it. Go ahead, my sweet sword sister. Go forth. And if you happen upon Ryder... Then I will warn her of the Saber servant who guards this temple. I believe I may be falling for you. Of course you are. Saber! Other Saber! Die! No! Ha! Really? Even you? Why? What, what, what do you have to gain here? What could you possibly want with him? His life is of value to Saber and as such of value to me. Also, you lied to me, you jerk. What's his name, Sasaki? Tell me his name! It's Shiro. It is Shiro. Don't! You just... You got this, Saber? Of course, true Saber. His swordsmanship is lacking. Shut up! You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Tiger Mom is angry. Tiger Mom is disappointed. I'm sorry, Tiger Mom. Good. 
Now you understand that you will not be going anywhere without my 24-hour protection. I also want to use a more modern method of tracking. What's it called? Clipping? Crypting? Shipping? Like a dog! Oh good, you know it already. That saves time explaining. Do you think it would be cool if I trained with two swords from now on? Like Archer? His fighting seems almost improvisational. It just makes sense to me. If you want to rip out Tiger Mom's heart and crush it under your heel, you can do whatever you want. Well, whatever. You'll be skipping school tomorrow anyways, so we have lots of time to train. After we get a chip in your butt. Saber. No. It's like that word was handcrafted by the devil himself to torment me. Uh, normally, we'd have a character saying a thing about our links to Patreon, where you guys can see all kinds of early content and release stuff, or asking you to subscribe because statistics are what they are. But this episode, I want to point you guys towards two other places. Our Twitch and Let's Play channel! In particular, for the past couple years, we've been running a Type Moon Fate-based D&D game on Twitch, archiving it on our Let Them Play Games channel. If you guys are interested in such a thing, you should head on over there. We have such faces as Yamato SFX and X Bubble Monkey X of Something Witty Entertainment, Buddy VA and Frozen Frost of Project Mouthwash, Bread Bredderson and Summoner Blue of themselves, and me, Logan Laidlaw, your DM who's slowly working himself into an early grave doing too many heckin' things all the time. We we also ran a Digimon campaign, Buddy's running a Tomb of Annihilation game, and Frozen Frost is running a Curse of Strahd game. All on the same Twitch, the same Let's Play channel. A lot of D&D is my point. If that sort of thing floats your figurative boat, head on over! Link's in the description. I would love you forever if you did. I already love you forever, I'm sorry I lied.